Having watched recent videos by Lid Motor, Laser Saver, kind of got me back onto uh, some of my high voltage experiments. And this is my uh, electrostatic motor, my replication. And uh, it's a very easy build. While uh, I explain to you, let me go ahead and, and power that up. This is just a uh, negative ion generator that I'm using. Uh, I bought that from Electronics Gold Mine. Uh, boy, almost a must have if you're going to play with some of these high voltage experiments. I've used it for nearly everything. But uh, there you can see it spinning up. Uh, it's a real simple build, just a frame. It's got uh, the magnets with a sewing needle in between. And what I used was a tennis ball, or a ping pong ball rather. This is just a. Uh, little ping pong ball um, using uh, this uh, aluminum sticky tape uh, made some egg shape uh, pieces that I put uh, right on that ping pong ball and uh, as you can see it's working real well the uh, the two glass pieces on the sides are, are nothing more than just a uh, candle holder that I put a, uh, the sticky aluminum foil on the back and uh, use it for my connections. And, uh, so let's check something here real quick. Uh, let's see if we can get a speed. That is uh, 1380, 1380. RPMs, and that's that's spinning pretty quick. Uh, so, let me show you another way that you can power power this up. Uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so what I've done here is I've I've moved locations and uh, gone back to the aluminum foil on the old tube type television. And we're going to see if turning this TV on and off will let us spin this, spin this little motor up. So, let's get that set there. And I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. So, just by turning that television set on and off... I can spin up that rotor. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.